if I have two random variables, x and y, and I have a function from r2 to r, such that z is a function of x and y, then I can create the composition of this function with the two random variables to create a new random variable, z, which is g, x, y. In terms of a picture, a sample space, one specific outcome, x is a function that maps omega to a real number, and y is a function that will map omega to another real number. Together, they will map omega onto a point in R2. I create a composition by mapping this point in R2 onto a real line. My point x, y is mapped by the function g onto the real line and onto the number z. So my random variable z goes directly from the sample space to z. We can extend this idea to the case when I have a random vector. If I have a random vector, then our picture will be this instead. I have an outcome omega. My random vector x will map that into an n by 1 vector of real numbers. That is, it will map it into a point in Rn. In this case, if I have a function whose domain is precisely Rn and the codomain is R, then I can map this x onto the real line. So this is z, which is g of x, which is now shorthand for g of x1 all the way through to xn. The composition of x and g will then take me directly from omega to z. So this will be a new random variable z, which is equal to g of x. But in this case, x is an n by 1 random vector, while z is a random variable. So given a random vector n by 1 and a function from Rn to R, I can always create a new random variable by creating this composition, allowing us nice notation very similar to when we do the function of a single random variable. If x is a random vector n by 1 and I have a function g which goes from Rn to Rm, then I can also create a composition. I can create the composition g of x, but in this case, this will be a random vector. So let's call that y then. If this is n by 1, then y will be an m by 1 random vector. So basically, what's happening in this case is that if g is a function from rn to rm, it can be written in terms of m functions. So g of x can be written as, in vector form, g1 of x all the way down to gm of x, where each of these gi of x are functions from rn to r. So I collect one number here, one number here, and so on. And in total, I collect m numbers such that g will map n numbers into m numbers. With this function, if I plug in the random variable, this will become the following random vector, g1 of x, which is just a random variable, m such random variables to gm of x, such that this is an m by 1 random vector. The most important case when we do functions of random vectors is the case when g is linear. If we begin by the case where g is a linear function from Rn to R, then we can write g of x as some constant times x1 plus all the way plus cn times xn. And in vector notation, we can write this as c transpose multiplied by x, where c is the vector containing all the constants, and x is the vector with all the variables. If you plug a random vector into a linear function, this becomes c1x1 plus all the way to cn xn, which we then can write as c prime x. We should always recognize this expression, c prime x, as a linear function 
of the random variables in x. If g is linear, but it's a function from rn to rm, then we can always write g of x equal to a times x, where a is an m by n matrix. This is n by 1, so g of x becomes m by 1, as it should. So this is a linear function of the vector x applied to a random vector x. This is written as a times x. And this is now a random vector, which is m by 1. Each element in this random vector is a linear function of the random variables in x. For example, the first random variable in y, y1, is a11. That's the element at position 1, 1 in the a matrix times x1 plus a12, row 1, column 2 of a times x2 plus all the way to a1n xn. Key thing to remember here is that if x is an n by 1 random vector, then c prime x is a random variable, and it's a linear function of the random variables in x, while a times x is a random vector whose dimension is equal to the number of rows in a. But it's still constructed as linear functions of the random variables in the vector x.